Fiber Spider here in the kitchen once again. I know it's been a while, but here we are, and today we are going to be making cinnamon rolls. Itty bitty little mini cinnamon rolls using crescent rolls. Yes, it looks so easy that even I can do it. I haven't tried this before, but we shall find out. Can we do this? Now, the ingredients are very, very simple. Yes, a roll of crescent rolls. So that much is easy, right? And then, got my ingredient list right here, melted butter, light brown sugar, ground cinnamon, powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla extract. That's it. Sounds easy enough, right? So we're going to go through it step by step, and we're going to have ourselves a treat. Alrighty, so first things first, we're going to have the terrifying ordeal of opening up the tube of the crescent rolls. It always freaks me out. I get shell shock, but I think it's going to be worth it, don't you? Alright, so hopefully it will not explode and get me all freaked out, but you know. Alright, uh... Ah, here we go. Here we go. The actual seam. Oh god. Nothing? Okay, give it a little rap, rap, rap. Come on. You know you want to do it. It's like holding a live grenade, you know? Seriously? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Technical difficulties aside, now, if you can find a package of crescent rolls where it is a solid sheet that is more preferable, uh, I could only find the kind of crescent rolls where it was already cut into triangles. Hopefully that will not be too much of an issue. If I could just get it out of here in one piece. There we go. All right, so now going to unroll this jobby. I have some parchment paper down here. All right, looking for the seam. Here we go. So I'm gonna roll this out. Now, according to the recipe that I saw, if it is separated, try to press the seams together. Okay, so let's sort of scoot this. Okay, more technical difficulties. That's okay. It's all stuck! Okay, you know... When life hands you lemons... Drink coffee. <laughs> okay, let me just sort of scooch this. See, I didn't realize it was just gonna like flat out stick to the parchment paper like that, but hey. All right, now fortunately it is relatively in a solid sheet as is, but I'm going to sort of squoosh the seams together just a little bit. Pinchy, pinchy, pinchy. and try to seal this up a little bit. And then we're going to apply our melted butter. It is, by the way, it is three tablespoons of melted butter. And so we're gonna apply that. I have a little, got a little brush. And then our cinnamon and sugar. It's going to be a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar and half of a tablespoon of ground cinnamon, roughly speaking. So, all right, we have ourselves situated. All right, so let me throw this out, give my hands a quick wash. There we go. Okay. 
got my three tablespoons of melted butter all ready to go. And we're gonna have a little brush brush. Now, if you don't have a little brush like this, you can drizzle some of your melted butter on and then spread it around with the back of a spoon. That's totally acceptable. So just having a nice even coating of, by the way, this is unsalted melted butter. The recipe itself, it just said butter. It didn't say salted or unsalted, but I figured, you know what? Let's go with the unsalted. Now, I'm not going to be drowning this, but I am going to have a nice even coating across the whole thing. Something tells me I'm going to have more than enough. Probably not going to use the whole thing, but you know, I would rather have too much than not enough. Nothing worse than running out, right? Okay. Don't want to have some massively soggy bits anywhere, so I'm going to spread it out nice and even. Okie dokie, I think we are good. And yeah, plenty left over to spare. Okay, so now going to measure out my cinnamon and sugar. Be right back. Alrighty, so I have, it is a quarter of a cup of light brown sugar and half of a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. Got it measured out right here. And so it's just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle all across the surface here. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a mix here and then sprinkle, sprinkle. And undoubtedly, I'm gonna have more than enough here, just like with the butter. But again, I'd rather have too much than not enough. So here we go. Now, I'm sure that there's nothing really in the way of like an exact science about this, which suits me just fine, quite frankly. And I'm sure also that there are some other things that you could add that would also be rather nice, like perhaps some ground clove, maybe even some nutmeg. That might be nice. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally gonna have more than enough. Also, I did set my oven preheating at 350. It's already set to go. And we are almost all set to go, quite frankly. Just a nice, even sprinkle, sprinkle. Nothing too crazy here. Okay, and still plenty left over. Okay. So, now I'm going to do the fun part. I have never done a any sort of like jelly roll type thing before, but I should be able to figure it out, right? All right, so basically it's just sort of scooching the, you have your, this is the, the length and this is the width. So the, the length of it, I'm going to start rolling it up. There we go. Trying to get it even. Okay. 
and just roll it all the way across. Hopefully they stay together. I don't know, we'll find out. And then we're gonna cut about one inch slices. And I already have my baking sheet ready with parchment paper because goodness knows that the last thing that I want to do is clean off burnt on sugar onto a pan. Thank you. No, I will pass. Okay, so far so good. And then, while our little mini cinnamon buns are doing their thing, we are going to make up the icing. And that is what the powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and milk is going to be for. All right, we are just about there. Now, the seams did rip a bit, but in the grand scheme, I don't think that is going to matter too terribly much because after all, we are cutting this as it is. So, on guard. Okay, so about an inch, roughly speaking. Now I do hope that these stay together. I don't know, we shall see. For all I know, this could be an epic fail, but it might be a tasty delight. We will find out. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about a dozen. If they all turn out, I don't know. We shall find out. All right, so just going to start plopping these onto my baking sheet here. Stay together, boys. Stay together. They're so little. They're so tiny. They're so cute. Yeah, they're, they're trying to fall apart, but hopefully as they bake, they'll sort of like calm down and settle into their, their position. I don't know, we'll find out. Now this one looks really wonky. The seams were just not having it, but we'll find out. This one's got a cute little crown. And let's position these a little bit better. Boop. Okay, now, again, quick wash. Alrighty, so Next item of business is going to pop them into the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes on at 350. And again, like I said, while that's happening, we're going to make some icing. Mm. So I got my confectioner sugar, my vanilla, and my milk. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so my little guys are in the oven. Now we need to make the icing because what is better? What could possibly be better than some drizzly, sweet, yummy icing on top, right? So I have a cup of confectioner sugar. And to that, we are going to need to add 
two tablespoons of milk and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, I don't have any milk on hand. All I have is half and half. So we're going to make do. All right, so uh, two tablespoons. There we go. Because I love, seriously, I love my coffee, but I need to have half and half. Some people can drink their coffee black. I'm not one of those people. I love my half and half. Light and sweet. All right, so we got one. And we got two. Pop that there. Put this back in the fridge. Okay. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Aha. Okay. And I'm going to break out the whisk today, people. Now, I imagine also that almond extract would taste rather good, too. But I'm going to follow the recipe this time. And let's get whisking. Now, I've seen this sort of icing before a million times, but I've never made it before. And I imagine that this, too, is not an exact science. However, so far it's looking pretty good, actually. You know, it's a bit thick. I might add perhaps a little bit more milk. Well, half and half. Because, yeah, this, this is really thick. I would like it to be perhaps maybe a little bit more runny. I don't know. I don't know, it looks, looks pretty good. Gooey gooey. <laughs> See, I for some reason, I thought that that was going to take a lot longer than it did. Perhaps because I was hearkening back to when I made, it was those peppermint patties where it was like 99% powdered sugar. And it, it took a while, let me tell you. And it took a lot of elbow grease, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of muscle. Um, but uh, no, this, this came together real easy, real quick. Okay, so I have about, see, I didn't quite time this right. I've got about six minutes left on my cinnamon buns, which is fine because they are still baking. And it said 10 to 12 minutes, you know, and I set it for 10. So, well, well, we will find out, we will see. So I'm gonna set that to the side. And when I take my beauties out of the oven, well, I hope that they're beauties when I take them out of the oven, uh, you shall see what they look like. The mystery continues, all right. Alrighty, so the moment of truth. It's been just over 10 minutes and I am so excited. I can't hide it. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Alright, so. Ah, very exciting. Let's take a look-see. Oh my god! These are so cute! Look at them! They're just so adorable. Oh my God. Okay. Ah. Woo. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn you off. Okay. And I need a plate. My kingdom for a plate. Okay. Now, let's see how well these slide off, shall we? Oh, easy. Oh, actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. These need to set just a little bit. Okay, yeah. If I if I take them off the sheet right now, they are going to fall apart on me, I'm afraid. So, you know what? I'm going to let them sit, cool down just a little bit. But how stinking cute are they? They are just so adorable. 
They came down nicely, very, very pleased with that. Uh, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let these get a little more acclimated to not being in the oven. And then we're gonna do the drizzle drizzle and do the taste test. But they, they, they look adorable. Do they look picture perfect? No, but then again, neither do I. That's all right. <laughs> so I will see you in a bit. Alrighty, so my judgment call was a good thing. Yes, I let them sit for a few minutes, get themselves situated, and da 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 da! They are so pretty. They almost look like like this one especially right here. Almost looks like a flower bud. Almost, almost. Sort of like those ribbon ro roses that you roll up, and I remember when those were quite quite popular. At any rate, so. Drizzle, drizzle time. This is this is the part I've really been waiting for, quite frankly, I'm gonna be honest. So, drizzle, drizzle. I, I could go extreme, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be holding a little restraint here. And of course, there's gonna be a lot left over for dunking, I imagine. Oh, this is so good. Cinnabon, eat your heart out, baby. I remember going to the mall and begging my parents, can I please get one? The best part with Cinnabon was the very center. I don't know about you, but I always, always loved the very, very center of a Cinnabon. Okay, I think we pretty much nailed these good enough. And you know what? With the rest of this, I'm probably going to end up attacking the others. I've got tons of icing here, which is totally fine. All right, so now for the taste test. All right, now for the moment of truth. Finally, the taste test. These look so gorgeous. I almost don't want to eat them, but guess what? I'm going to. All right, so, oh, these are so cute. And it is in fact holding together fairly nicely. I am happy about that. I was so afraid that they were gonna fall apart. Very, very light. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That is so good. Not even funny. That is so delicious. Ah, okay absolutely perfect the the uh the crescent roll the dough and everything absolutely perfect you got the right thickness going on they are not too they're not too meh, like you know not too mushy not too doughy or anything like that they're absolutely perfect the cinnamon and the brown sugar perfect you know just you know the measurements that they gave I would say it's more of an arbitrary kind of thing. Just, you know, do a, a, a sprinkle throughout. Again, same thing with the melted butter. As long as you have enough to cover the surface, you're golden. The fact that they don't come out picture perfect, do I care? No. Um, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that much of a, you know, showman. You know, I'm, I'm not a Martin Stewart, okay? <laughs> It's, it's okay, you know? I mean, I have realistic standards. I'm a realistic spider here. But I, I have to have another one of these. These are so good. Oh, my God. Mmm, I just had a great thought. Mmm. I had an awesome thought. Serving these with vanilla ice cream. Ooh, apple pie, come back another day. This would be perfect 
with a scoop of vanilla ice cream served on top. Darn right. Mm. Okay. Yes, folks, we nailed it once again. All right, definitely would recommend you guys try this. It is so easy, even I could do it. So delicious, you're gonna want more. And you're gonna have to tell whoever, whoever it is that's living with you, you know what, I'm, I'm busy here. You know, come back in an hour. <laughs> they are so good, you gotta try them. At any rate, listen guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and inspired you to make some of these yourself because they are so good. Ah, I'm, I, these are not gonna last long. No, they're not. <laughs> they're gonna disappear pretty darn quick. So if you like this video, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation and subscribe for more because whether I'm in the kitchen or if I'm crocheting or knitting or audiobook narrations or of course my other YouTube channel Fiber Spider Games where I do video game playthrough with commentary a lot of fun would love to see you there and you know what to do until next time right I want all of you to stay inspired stay caffeinated stay sweet yes like these cinnamon buns and stay safe Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.